Welcome back. Today we're going to be going over how to automatically apply discount codes depending on customer tags. It's a great way to have some flexibility to your checkout process without having to go and start a whole new online store for your wholesale. Let's jump into it. So today I got a really interesting one. Uh, the other day I was asked by a customer on how to add a small little change to the theme so that for their wholesale customers they would see a different checkout button than the retail customers would. And this is in a situation not when you're going to order, offer all wholesale because when you start doing wholesale on-site Shopify you should really separate it out into two different stores. The reason being uh, a Shopify store that is for a retail customer has different payment and shipping options than you necessarily would if you were running a a wholesale site. So we usually recommend that you separate out uh, two stores, you get another store for your wholesale and that way you can set up your um, your shipping and your payments separately. However, there are certain situations where you're going to want to have a wholesale experience for a select few customers. Here's an example. If you have five or six wholesale customers that you want to go through your website, check out like they normally would um, and be able to purchase their products like they would on side their site or potentially connect, connect to a sales rep or here's a better one, have a discount code that they get. So maybe a preferred customer. I'm gonna show you how to modify that in the theme so that you can actually offer that. So let's hop over to my screen. So if we're on the screen here and we have a look at our uh, dashboard, we're going to go and we're going to have a look at what I've set up first. Now, um, it's important to understand the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to have a customer login um, so that we can tell the difference between the people who have logged in and then the people who haven't. So in this situation, what we're going to do is we're going to build out a piece of code which is going to prevent anybody who is not a registered customer to get a button that allows them to email and, be, and set up an account. Because there's probably an approval process that's gonna happen, have to happen on this website, we want to be able to make it so that they can click on the button, go fill out the form, and then once they're approved, then we would add a tag to their account, and if that tag is added to their account, then they would be allowed to check out. So if we have a look at my screen again, we can see that on my account that I have created, I have a wholesale tag that has been added to my account. So what that means is if I'm logged in, and I'm going to go and do that now, and when I go to my checkout and my cart, because I have the wholesale um, tag added to my cart, I can actually hit the checkout button. And let me show you what happens if I remove the wholesale button. and I refresh it, and then we hit the cart button again. We can see we now have a submit a request button with no possible way to get to the checkout. When we click the submit a request button, it takes us to an email form which we can go and set up. So how did I go and do that? Well, essentially what we did is we added a little piece of liquid code to our theme in order to make it so that it swaps that button depending on whether we're one, authenticated, and two, whether we are have the proper tag on our site. So if we go to online store, and we go to the theme that we're working on, and we go to edit code, we're going to need to find the cart.liquid page. Now the cart.liquid page is the page that gets rendered when uh, the cart is getting ready to uh, check out. Most themes, it comes up as the URL is slash cart. So if I go here to slash cart, it will show up here. Um, in this particular theme, uh, because it's a modal cart message, it shows up uh, in a small modal message. So if I go back over here and we go and we look for that submit button, we can see that I've added an if statement in here. So I essentially wrote in a liquid code that says if customer tags, so if the customer tags, this will also check to see if the customer is authenticated. So if they're not authenticated and not logged in, customer tags doesn't exist, so it will skip over this. But if the customer tags contains wholesale, what we're gonna say is if it does contain wholesale, then we're gonna show the checkout button. If it doesn't, so the else statement, we're going to replace it with a new button which has a mail to link in it so that they can go and submit a request. And then we're gonna end the if. And it's as simple as that. Adding that three pieces of code allows you to change the way your um, user experience is for both customers as well as wholesale. 
Okay, so I'm going to show you another situation where you might want to modify the, uh, the code so that it automatically applies maybe a discount code when someone is checking out. So in a situation, say you have VIP customers, and these customers want to, you want to give them a special discount, uh, but you don't want to go and create a new discount code for them each time. You want to have one single discount code that when they go through checkout, they are again, have it automatically applied to their account as long as they sign up. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go to customers and we're going to need to create a tag that we're going to check for to make sure that these people um, qualify for this specific discount. So I've gone and tagged my account with the word VIP. Now the other thing we need to do is we're going to need to go to discounts and we're going to need to create a discount code to apply to all orders. So for the sake of this demo, I have created a VIP discount code which offers 10% off of all orders. So we're going to go back over to the online store and what we're going to do is we're going to go in to edit the code. Now what we want to do is we want to automatically apply this, um, this code when someone hits the checkout button. So only if they are tagged with VIP. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go find the form field. So we want to go to cart.liquid because this is the page that's going to actually apply the code. And then we want to go and find the form inside the, um, the cart.liquid. Now this form is what posts to the checkout page and will apply that discount code for us automatically. Now, what do we need to add in here? Because it's a form posting action, what we want to do is we want to add in a hidden element into our code, which is called a type input field, and it's got a type of hidden, and it's going to have an ID of discount, and it's going to have a name of discount. Now, it's important that both the ID and the name are set to discount, because discount is a reserved word that Shopify looks for in order to apply it to the cart when they check out. Then finally, we're going to have the VIP value in there. Now this is going to apply to everybody who hits the checkout button because we're not putting a check around it, but we need to put a check around it. So we're going to add some liquid code in here in order to make sure that happens. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an if statement. So we want to do hop into liquid here and we go if customer.tags contains VIP, we are going to close that off and then we're going to close off the and if here, the if statement here as well. So now what it's going to do is when the customer, if the customer is logged in or authenticated, it's going to look through their account and it's going to see if it contains VIP. If it contains VIP, then it's going to plug this piece of code in there. And this piece of code is automatically going to apply the discount code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that and we're going to go back to our demo store and we're going to test it. So we're going to go back to the cart. Okay, we have our cart. Um, we are logged in. We're just going to make sure that we're logged in. Yeah, we're logged in. Um, we're going to confirm that we are labeled with the correct VIP tag. Let's go in here just to make sure that we have it labeled as well. We do. Awesome. Make sure that everything is in the same case. You want to make sure everything is in lowercase or in uppercase or in camel case. Uh, cases can really mess things up. <clears throat> and now we're going to go to checkout. When I hit the checkout button, because we added in that hidden field that says discount, we should see it automatically apply the VIP to our cart. Now let's go and just remove that VIP from our customer. And we're going to remove it from our cart. We're going to show you it working the other way. So if I go back to cart, I'm going to reload the cart here. Once the cart loads up, we're going to submit the request. Oh, sorry, I'm on the wrong page here. We're going to go check out. That's right. I have our old code still in there. I need to go and remove our old code. So um, I'm going to go in here and I've got to edit our code here. I'm going to go remove that code that I put in there before. So we're just going to get rid of this and get rid of the button. Save that one. We can't test it if our old wholesale code is in there. So we can now reload this. We can hit cart, hit checkout, 
and we can now see it has not applied that code. So it's a really easy way for you to automatically apply codes depending on what customs are tagged. It gives you the flexibility to automate some of your processes and not have to go and create a discount code for every single VIP person that you have on your store. Thanks for coming by. I hope this was helpful. Hit the like button if it was. Hit the subscribe button if you want to continue to get weekly updates from me as I make new videos. And please leave a comment down below of something that you would like me to try and work out in an upcoming video. I'm always looking for new ideas and I'm always looking to be able to help you guys out. So leave a comment on any one of my videos and I'll be sure to make a video of what you request. Hope you're having a great day and we will see you in the next one.